Well, I'm back from vacation and I got to get back in the groove of things. As you see, my refrigerator's pretty bare. I stopped last night on my way home and got eight hamburger patties. So that way I have something to eat on this morning. Um, I already drank one of my protein coffees. So I did some shopping this morning. I'll be getting a new fridger freezer today. Refrigerator freezer today. Uh, no, on Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So three days, but I can't always just get three days worth of food. So let me show you. This is a different kind of video. I'm going to show you what I got while I was out shopping today. First up is my schnooks. I always go to schnooks and get my, it's going to fall off there, my good culture low fat cottage cheese. One of these is four servings, so I get four. So I get paid twice a month, so this way I have at least enough to get through. And then I get four of these. These are five servings, so this would be 15. But it never fails if I want something with the Southwestern flair. I, want, I use this for sour cream. So I like to pick up an extra one of these. So Schnucks is not cheap, but and this is not a budget-friendly haul, I can tell you that much. Uh, it was $43.58 for these items here from Schnucks. This Walmart haul is going to be in two sections. Um, so I wanted to redeem myself and have me some good steak. So I've got, I bought a two full price top sirloin steaks. These are going, they'll just go in the freezer. Uh, actually one I'll keep out. Um, in case you didn't know, if you get to Walmart early in the morning, like before everyone else, there's going to be tons of marked down stuff. So all this was marked down because of the date. Let's see. Where's the expiration date? Oh, come on, Terry. Trying to look through the camera, but that ain't working so well. Hang on, let me look. T-bone, you pay. When the heck is the expiration date? Usually it's got an, oh, right there. Good grief, Terry. So today is the 29th. So if you go in your Walmart store or whatever store you use, <clears throat> really early, you get all these sales. And as you saw, my cabinets are bare. And I do have plenty of meat, but, you know, when I see a bunch of stuff marked down, I just can't help it. So I got a Chuck Pot Roast, New York Strip Thin, Cowboy Ribeye, Ribeye Steak Thin, Ribeye Steak. And now, again, I told you this is not a, a budget-friendly haul, but I'm using my leftover vacation money. So T-Bone Steak, Chuck Tender Roast. This one was wet and yucky, so I kept it in the bag. Um, this one is New York Strip Thin. New York Strip Thin. New York Strip Thin. And Chuck Pot Roast. So I'm going to put all these in the freezer except for one of the top sirloin. And last is, got my almond milk. Um, like I said, I'm getting uh, the refrigerator and let's say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, in three days. So I really did not want to bulk buy. So I will be going back. But um, so I got some broccoli slaw, three of these, chick no sugar, Applegate chicken and herb sausages that I eaten for breakfast. I got some coleslaw. Um, I needed an almond milk unsweetened that I put in my coffees. Um, last time I bought this stuff. Man, I'm liking it. I'm so stinking lazy, but and it's not cheaper than buying a thing, but I like it. I just pour it and then add a little bit of that and my, my protein powder and collagen, and there you have it. This one, the Blonde Roast, is, be is better for uh, keto than the other one. This has two carbs and 10 calories. I say better for keto. I should say better for counting carbohydrates. This one, they only had one, so I had to get a different one. So I got the medium roast unsweetened, and it's 15 calories, but it's three carbs. So that's that. And I went ahead and bought some of this just to keep around. It's good for a month or far out. So, so that's the final of the Walmart haul. You can see there it was 228. 
So, nope, wasn't cheap, but like I said, I now I've got a lot of inexpensive meat and I shouldn't say inexpensive, less expensive meat and I saved what if it says did I save does it say if I saved money? Nope, it doesn't say squat about how much I saved. But <clears throat> anyway, I got meat cheaper than what it usually is. So um, like I said, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of meal prep. Ignore the counter. It's a hot mess since I just got back from vacation. I've got me some 80-20. It was the quickest thing I could grab. Um, so I need to meal prep for the week. And then I'll also be cooking the steaks. So I'm not going to show you the meal prep because you've seen it a hundred times. Um, but I, you'll be seeing these throughout the week in what I eat in a day. Oh, 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 by the way, um, I stepped on the scale this morning. I am up five pounds, which, hey, not shabby for going on a cruise and having full access to all kinds of food. And I know it's all water weight, so I'm not too worried about it um, because I did have fruit and I did have more vegetables and then all that salad dressing. None of it was controlled. So I know I was way over my calories and way over my carbs every day. Um, so I just did the best I could with what I was given. Um, if you, if you go on a cruise, you might, you probably will be able to make, tighten up your carbs and your calories better than me, but I'm pretty happy and satisfied with what, how I did on my cruise. So like I said, I'm up five pounds and I'll probably be back down after a week or two of getting back on the wagon. So yeah, up five pounds and I'll let you know how things go throughout the week.